Hey guys, it's Donna from DW Backyard Garden. As you can tell, I have just cooked myself a nice meal of gungu rice and peas. And I'll be sharing this with you today. Yes, get your glass of wine, get your juice, sit down, relax, and watch how I cook Jamaica green gungu rice and peas. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, thumbs up and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. These are frozen gungu peas from Jamaica and I washed them thoroughly. And I'm going to put them on the fire now. So when you're cooking your green gungu rice and peas, guys, you need to use hot water. Basically, the water has to be boiling. There's a trick in it, so I don't know, um, I grew up with my grandmother telling me that you have to put the, um, the green gungo. So this is what I'm adding that now to the, the water. There you go. And the green gungo, you can tell I add a stock cube to it, a vegetable stock cube. So this is what it looks like when it's almost cooked. Basically, I'm gonna let it cook some more. The next stage is adding the, um, I put, is adding the coconut milk. So definitely, we have to put coconut milk. If you notice, I've boiled it with some, um, what do you call it, fermented seed. So it's a lot of peas, I may have to take some. So now we're ready to pour the coconut milk. And this is natural coconut that I blend. So that's going to boil and then once that's boiled for a bit we're going to add our seasoning to it so i'm just adding my thyme and my onions and sweet peppers in there yeah and garlic as well and that's we'll boil them for a little bit then i add the rice so i've added my rice and i've used the basmati long grain rice so this is it i've add sweet pepper thyme onions the lot to it and it's seasoned with some stock cube that's all and pimento seed so this is going to cook now and then when you finish you'll see how i cook my my gungo rice and peas isn't that beautiful look at that look at that look at the grain of the rice Hey guys, the gungo rice and peas is ready. See, uh, you may realize that I have changed the pot because it was a bit too much, so I changed the pot. So I'm taking the time out of it. So let me just show you how it's come out. I don't know if I should bring it a little bit further in. Right, so here is how we cook our gungo rice and peas. This is very chilly. I've used the basmati rice. There it is it's very hot, very hot. So guys, join me and let me show you how I cook my rice and peas, my gungo rice and peas. There it is. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, DW Backyard Garden. Look. So you want your rice, your peas, you want to use a, quite a fair amount of peas in it. And that's it. There it is. Gungu rice and peas. So there it is. Gungu rice and peas. Lovely. And the pot is beautiful, isn't it? Nice color pot. and nice. Very nice. Remember, you use your coconut milk, your seasoning, and that's all about it, really. You don't need much in it, but I put some sweet peppers in it. My scotch bonnet and my coconut. That is beautiful. Beautiful.